let's take a look at problem 410. So to become good at math, memorizing all formulas and procedures is generally a waste of time. To become good at math, understand the underlying concepts. And to do this, create your own solutions to problems. Think about problems. Think about how the concepts fit together and create your own solutions to the problems. Memorizing a formula and a procedure, well, that a formula procedure is what you produce when you create your solution, but memorizing those is a waste of time. It is more important to create those solutions because if you can create the solution to a problem, you don't actually need to memorize how you did it. You can just do it. And again, to emphasize, if you watch this video, you might get a higher math grade. It is conceivable that you might get a higher grade in a math class, but you will learn less and you will be worse at mathematics. So the question you have to ask yourself is this, what are you here for? Are you here to get a grade or are you here to learn? And if the grade is the only thing that matters, well, feel free to watch the videos. But if you actually want to learn, don't watch the videos. Don't watch the videos because if you watch the videos, if you follow formulas and procedures, you're going to learn less and you're going to do worse at mathematics. So let's take a look at this. Uh, so here's a problem that, here's a question, or here's a problem to find, to write a repeating decimal as a fraction. And if you watch this video, you will learn less mathematics. But let's go ahead and proceed anyway. So. Remember that when I write something like this, this is a repeating decimal, and that tells me the 3 is repeated endlessly after the decimal point. So it helps if I write it out like this, x is 0 0.333, etc., with the dot, 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 saying I'm going to keep repeating the 3s. Now, we do want to find 10x, and to the extent that this is a hard problem, so a little bit of guidance is useful. And so some of the guidance is, well, let's find 10x. Uh, let's see what happens. And the significance of 10x versus 2x or 5x or anything else is that when we multiply a base 10 decimal by 10, everything shifts over one place. So 10x is easy. So 10x, everything shifts over one place. And the dot, 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 remember that I have an endless supply of threes afterwards. So one of those threes moves up into this thousands place. So 10x is going to be 3.333 repeating. Well, what happens if I go 10x minus x? Well, let's think about that. I have 10 of something. I subtract one of the somethings. So that leaves me with, well, 10x minus x. And if I subtract this from this, all of the portion after the decimal point lines up. So all that part is gone, and I have 3 left by itself. And 10x minus x is going to be 9x. And now I could solve for x. x is 3 ninths, and there's my solution. And it's convenient, but not absolutely critical, to reduce that fraction. 3 ninths gets reduced down to 1 third.